What's up everyone? We're back at Formula Drift here at Road Atlanta for the second round of FD. Very excited to be back here. Haven't been here since 2019. So good to be back. The team are just setting up here. It's Wednesday afternoon and getting all the cars set up, getting everything set up for the day. Um, today we actually have practice uh, because ProSpec are running this weekend as well. So we've practiced today, uh, practice and qualifying tomorrow. And then we have a day off on Friday where we're doing some media stuff and uh, main competition on Saturday. So a bit of a longer week than usual. Uh, we came straight from Mandela Park to here. So it's, uh, it's been a busy, we're in the middle of a busy few weeks, um, but we're excited for this weekend. These cars won't be long waking me up. What's up, man? I thought he was gonna get you. Hey, are something. you smiling? <laughs> this man's always Come smiling. Come on, get him, get him! All right, all right. I you know done? that life, and we do. How are you, Dan? I'm great, dude. All yeah, good? So good. good man. Hey, <laughs> bud. Hey, nice to see you. <laughs> I think you're taller than me. Dude, man, even a MySpace angle, we just get disappeared. Yeah, yeah. It's oh, finally dude. good to have somebody at our angle. <laughs> we understand what life is like. You look great from up here, anyway. Yeah, That's man, all. Man, right you look fantastic from down here. <laughs> yeah, so excited, excited for the weekend. Um, as I said, just checking the cars over, uh, putting in a new final gear for this weekend. Uh, in terms of changes to the car, they've made the transmission lever uh, about three inches longer, so we have a bit more leverage on the upshifts. Excited to get back in this car. So they've made a few changes and adjustments. Uh, the suspension as well to see if we can get a bit more side grip in the car and uh, find a balance where we're a little bit more comfortable. But I'm excited, this track, at least there's no walls, so we can absolutely push the limits from the start. I'm hoping to get all 12 laps of practice in, which there's a, there's a 12 lap limit before qualifying in Formula Drift, which is uh, a bit different. So we need to make sure that we, um, yeah, we need to make sure that we get the most out of it, try to get our 12 laps in before qualifying, because every lap we learn something new about the car. So yeah, I'm very excited. It's absolutely roasting here. Uh, Pro spec are running as well, so I'm probably gonna give a walk up in a minute uh, for half an hour, see them on track uh, before drivers meeting and practice this later on this evening. So it's gonna be an interesting weekend. Excited to take you along for the journey and uh, see how far we can take it this time. So we're just about to kick off practice. Team are bringing the cars out to the start line. Get a few lead runs in, see how this RTR4 Mustang feels on Atlanta. I'm excited for it. Oh yeah, we got windows too, I'm not sure if I said that. But looking good. Also got a fresh new AutoZone racing suit. Right, let's get it. Just after finishing our first set of tires here at Road Atlanta. This car actually feels great here. Um, biggest thing I'm struggling with is probably visibility. So figuring out exactly where my four wheels are. And when you're coming up the hill, you're aiming for the second outer zone where you're coming into the keyhole. It's really hard. To be honest, I can't see where the grass is. So you're just guessing and working with your spotter to have the right place so you can get your tire to the edge. So the first run, I was right on the edge and I didn't really know about it and they said, ah, oh, that was great. And then the second run, I pushed harder um, as well was chasing me and I sent it down the hill, big entry, 
wrapped around the first inner clip and I was pulling up the hill hard and uh, I kept, I stayed pinned for a second too long um, but it felt great to push the limits right out of the box uh, I dropped uh, a tire into the dirt around the keyhole we still got it back into the inner and uh, kept it pinned all the way down the track it was a strong run so I'm happy uh, just see if I can get repetitive now with that and uh, yeah good time Honestly, I like it. Uh, I'm struggling with one thing. Outer zone two. Sorry, no. Okay, you can see me. I'm struggling with one thing, and that's outer zone two at the top of the keyhole. So I'm coming up the coming up the straight after the first corner and make the transition. Coming up with a lot of speed, and uh, basically I cannot see the uh, outer outer two. Right hand drive so, problems. Right hand drive problems. Only on this track because it's on like a crest. So it's very, very hard to judge. But other than that, feeling strong. The cars are good in this track. Oh, yeah. Uh, you're feeling good? I feel great. Yeah. Yeah. Cars feel really good. Putting for, in. for a Wednesday practice, I feel like I'm fast where I need to be. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Chelsea's style as well. He goes out. How many? So we're getting ready for qualifying. How many lead runs do you do? One. How many, <laughs> how many chase runs? Six or seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> That's what matters though, it always comes down to the battle and uh, for me, yeah, feeling more comfortable with every lap, looking forward tomorrow to uh, just pushing a bit deeper on that outer two and uh, see how it goes. Okay, so it's qualifying day, just finished our practice, uh, ended on two strong runs, strong lead run and a strong chase run behind Forrest. Uh, 
I was revving the car quite hard in third gear behind Forrest. I didn't want to upshift because I was really close and uh, we had a nitrous backfire. So the guys are just getting that fixed up right now. Intake is off. Get that figured out before qualifying, but good strong practice session and uh, feeling good. So let's hope we can uh, make our stick when it counts. So far, so good. One here in Atlanta back in 2017, got on the podium in 2018 and 19, three time champion back to back to back. And he is back, James, the Machine Dean, right hand drive also, which I think is really cool, you know, the, the other Mustangs, but the uh, the lone vehicle, James Dean, right hand drive, 21 and going to get the AutoZone Ford Mustang RTR Spec 5 FD Nitto tires on the corners. Wow, big, massive angle from James Dean. Huge, nasty initiation. How did he save that? Wow. Massive angle, comes in outside zone two, gets into the dirt. He throws the Nittos in the dirt. I mean, the amount of angle he's throwing at the car right now is insane. Can't even see. James the Machine Dean makes his way back up. He says, all right, boss, hold my hold my monster. Let, 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 me, let me show you how to do this. Man, impressive, 85.33. So as you said, kind of leaving some points on the table. So we're just back after my qualifying run. A bit disappointed. I was pulling off some really nice entries in practice. And I tried to do the same in qualifying. Uh, went a bit too too far, initiated maybe a touch too late. Got a bit of understeer as we're going through the first inner clip. It was going towards the gravel, but we stayed in it, got the transition done. Uh, had a bit of a tire drop as well at the outer zone two and then finished pretty strong, but definitely not my best run today. So disappointed with that. Such a long wait and uh, having, let me tell you about all my excuses, proper race car driver. Um, yeah, so it was like probably two hours since we finished practice and we finished in the uh, hot, dr hot, bright weather and uh, it was dark when we did our qualifying run. So I was actually expecting a bit more grip than there was. I didn't find it too different to what we practiced on and I tried to drive a bit too hard in comparison to what we were doing in practice and made some mistakes, but qualified 10th, not too bad. I, I'm disappointed because I know I could have done better, but it's all good. Uh, huge congratulations to Vaughan for qualifying first. It was the first car out and he held on to first place all the way through qualifying. So welcome back Vaughan, what a way to come back. And uh, I, I, when I met him after his run, I said, man, I think that's going to be hard to beat. And he held on to it. So it's brilliant. Uh, but three of us are in the show. And uh, yeah, ready for Saturday. So it's main event day. We are ready for our last hour's practice session before we get into the battles. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a tough day today. Everyone is pushing the limits. A uh, huge turnout of fans here, which is awesome to see. The weather is amazing. It's extremely hot, uh, especially for me, being Irish. Here we have the AutoZone RTR Mustang sitting, ready to go for practice. So we made a couple of setup changes, uh, which we're going to test now in practice. Realistically, with the with how many cars we have and only an hour's practice, I think we'll only get a lead and a chase run before our battle. So. It's really going to come down to um, down to the battles tonight, but I feel like uh, once we feel comfortable, we'll be able to push hard and hopefully have some good luck. We have a tough bracket tonight. We have uh, Trenton Beecham first, it's E46 BMW. Uh, if we win that, we either have Frederick or Rome. So yeah, definitely not easy, but um, that's what it's all about.
So we're just finished up a really short practice session. Um, we only got one lead and one chase. In the lead run, it's so hot right now that the track is actually quite slippery, even though we had a grip to the car overnight. Um, but the grip will come back once, once the track cools down later on. So top 32 run, um, yeah, it'll be interesting. Will be interesting. So I had a chase on Matt Field in practice. I was coming up along, coming into the keyhole. I was trying to be aggressive because it was my only real chase. And unfortunately, uh, I made contact with him. I was just being too aggressive uh, coming into the inner clip from outer two. Uh, spun him out, I bent the steering arm. Well, uh, that's what you get when you're trying to find the limits of the car. So it's out of the way now in practice. Hopefully we can tidy it all up for the battle. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed, it's all good. Here we go, James Dean, speaking of another three-time champion, James Dean, but he is piloting this AutoZone Mustang RTR Spec 5 FD. A brand new ride for him, only the second event he's ever been in, and he was driving the wheels off this thing, but he's going against Trent Beecham. He's got a new ride, he's got a new speed. This Blonex, Nexon tires, BMW, massive angle there from him. Backs it in, massive angle, look at Trent Beecham. He was, he was right there all up in that smoke, in that second outside zone. And that second inside clip, I mean, James Dean is driving this like he's driven it his entire life. People would dream about drifting like this. And this is second ever event. He looked like, I mean, James Dean chasing down Beecham. Welcome back, James Dean, to Formula Drift. Trent Beecham coming down the hill. Little straight line approach, hand break in that first clip. Now coming up the hill is Beecham, James Dean on pace. Into that second outside zone, how do they manage? Oh, look at that, James Dean a bit of a hookup diving in on the inside. Having some issues there is James Dean. And James has an issue from that outside zone too. What went wrong? Trent Beecham and it looks like James Dean gets the win. James Dean gets the win and we talked about again both of them having mistakes and completes on those chase runs. Okay so we're by our top 32 battle. We're into top 16 so that's good. It was absolutely so sketchy. Um, I did my lead run with Trentham and I felt like we had a good advantage. Pushed hard. The track is really slippery at the moment because of how hot it is and uh, a lot of people are dropping tires on the second outer zone um, coming into the keyhole so I was trying to be careful of that so kind of slightly wasn't as wide as we needed to be but I was dropping tires this morning so like trying to find the balance. Uh, we pulled away nicely down the hill it was a good run in my chase run um, I felt like we had quite an advantage and uh, I kept a nice distance through the first corner transition back really nice and smooth I felt like we're exactly where we needed to be. Went for my downshift, she wasn't having it. So I missed it, I think I didn't push it hard enough because I was like, let's just be calm, be relaxed. Went to push it, didn't get a gear, pushed it again, didn't get a gear, and I think I pulled it or pushed it, and it got some gear, I think it was second, and uh, got in drift a little bit again, and pulled two gears to, uh, to get back into drift. But sketchy moment, it's time to clean it up now because we're battling Frederick in top 16, so. No time to mess around. So we're out here just about to start opening ceremony. Huge crowd here in Atlanta. It's amazing to be here and you never realize the elevation of this track until you stand on it. We're on such a hill between where you come down and enter and as you pull up here to the keyhole like it's so much higher than what it looks like on the live stream and even what it feels in car. 
But yeah, we're excited. Now we're on to battle Frederick in top 16. Uh, three RTRs are in the show. Bond's the first battle out. Let's see how we go. It's time to push hard. Uh, huge thanks to the team for swapping out the transmission uh, between top 32 and top 16. Just to be safe. Uh, I think it was my own fault, but they just want to play it safe, so we got a fresh one in there. And excited for us. Lead. He is your defending and three time champion. Those weren't in a row, contrary to the three in a row of James Dean. Frederick Osbo coming down the hill with James Dean intel. Look at that. Tit for tap. Look at this Yankton. Woo! Are you kidding me? Look at that. Frederick Osbo at Rockstar Energy Toyota GR Super on middle tires. Comes in a Q in outside zone one, in outside zone two. James Dean is right in and tucking in. Middle tire track, middle tire smoke all across. And into that last and final inner clip. three-time champion going against another three-time champion. That's how stacked this top 16 is. Jeez. Here we go, James Dean out front, AutoZone, Mustang RTR, Spec 5 FD. And you Frederick Osmo, great shot of those acceleration lights, right? Acceleration green, 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 red oh, boy. in the brakes. Now coming in that inside clip, there goes James Dean. Nice snappy transition, going up the hill. Here comes James Dean. He had some trouble here earlier. Not so much trouble right now. Frederick Osmo taking that. B-line approach, how do they handle, out of the keyhole. Oh, oh. James Dean open the window of opportunity here for Frederick Osmo. Oh. Osmo fights back, Let's go. little jab. Here we go. Where are my James Dean fans at? Make some noise. Where are my Chris the Force Forsberg fans? Make some noise. Let's send it. James Dean, Chris Forsberg. Six championships between these two drivers. James Dean swings that Ford Mustang into that inside clip. Chris Forsberg comes on by, bearing in that smoke. Now coming up the hill in that first outside zone, James Dean. Dials it in, precision on the outside zone two. Didn't get all of it, just got a little bit of it. Goes across the nose of the all new Z. Looks like he might have taken out that headlight, the bumper. Now into that final inside clip. James Dean and Chris Forsberg. Inside clip. Look at him pulling away the attitude of James Dean's vehicle. Getting disrupted. Forsberg gets to that second outside zone. Transitioning now into that inside clip. James Dean, you see him pedaling it back. Now coming outside of the keyhole down, past that touch and go, and then the inside clip. Ryan, pretty 
well done. after finishing up our day unfortunately in the top eight uh, we had a great battle with Frederick Asbo it was really close I think they rewarded me for my angle there and uh, yeah I was really happy to get by that and then we moved on to face Chris Forsberg uh, I gave it my best lead run that I could and uh, pushing the limits of this car every single time and learning new things about it it's definitely a, a challenge especially on uh, such a fast track with a fast entry and you know, so much smoke as well in the chase position and that's what actually caught me out. So I entered with Chris, got a bit lost in tire smoke. I dropped the wheel in the dirt and when I kind of jumped back out from the curb, the car kind of bounced and uh, gave me a bit of a correction. We tried to keep it smooth and tried not to shortcut the track here because I know that they've been penalizing for that. Uh, try to keep my ground and uh, not get too sucked up on the inside and uh, yeah, it wasn't amazing, but another top eight. So it could be worse, could be better. We're learning every single time. I can't wait to get more seat time in this car and just keep on learning and keep on pushing. It feels weird to be, uh, you know, learning so many things in competition. Um, so yeah, let's hope we can keep the seat time up in the future and get more comfortable and uh, yeah, aim for that podium soon. Thank you all for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! <laughs>